You know what? If you can, why don't you try the glasses on? Because I want to get you on video trying that. Because I'm, I'm putting, I'm, I'm actually doing a diary of all the classes. I haven't shared it with anybody. My people at AT&T eventually are going to want to see what is happening in the class, not through the uh, YouTube live stream. I'll show you guys one more tool real quick. Which we have used. So the next headsets uh, have head the next ones have earphones. Built into the Vive Pro has the Okay, yes, yes, go up there. Um, there's a program in Adobe Creative Cloud called Fuse, and Fuse will allow you to create a 3D character, and then you take Fuse and you put it into Mixamo. Mixamo is another free tool from Adobe, which lets you animate that character, and then that character is able to be exported into an environment. So that's how they did the Tai Chi thing. And right? they did uh, so. It, uh, it's called Fuse. It's in Adobe Creative Cloud. And then you pick uh, skin tone, shape, all the rest, dress it, you get a character. And then you say, well, do you want to export it uh, for rigging? Rigging is how you set up the body to move, right? And then from rigging, you use Mixamo. And Mixamo has a set of animations that you can apply to your character. And so I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that when we first get back together. But I mean, if your concepts incorporate a true 3D character, then you can create that character like you saw in the Tai Chi video, put it in, or the characters like you saw in the Flick Sync video. They created those, are, and then those are characters that can be imported into Unity, which then gives you the full virtual world that you're seeing there. Terrence, can um, Amber Absolutely. experience this? I kind of took her away for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I got to make sure that everybody is going to support us and knows what we're doing in here. Absolutely. So, hold on. See, you're the director. Okay. No, because her face was getting cut off. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's room for you on the team for sure because you can know how to direct. Watch out in front of you. Here's your backpack. Yeah. Oh, she's thinking like, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I want the trippy and falling. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel it does. I'll move it. Um, here, I'll, I'll let you pick the new. So, you can check out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got it? So, here's the remote. Tell us so what it you has see. a dot, right? Yeah. Okay, so you have the dot. Now you're looking around at all the things you can click on. Yeah. Click on the one that says Tomb Raider. Uh, Did the Tomb Raider the one? Yeah, it's from the movie. Can I try it next? Sure, sure. Okay. And then that's going to walk you through. Um, it's actually uh, your Laura Croft. And you have to follow. The, you have to look around and you see a light. And you have to click when you see a, a, a yellow flash. Okay. Okay. She should relax. Don't keep her arms crossed. The more relaxed you are, the more aversive you could get. I think you said that a filter was going to get I got more than a few. Yeah, let's wait. It's like. I just called in last week for my class for the same class. I just called out like. I think it's not like a year. And then you'll see a, they got to look around and see a yellow flash, and that'll tell you what to do, and then you'll see motion and you'll be in her video experience. And they released this just before the movie came out, right? So they're trying to get this VR experience together to get you to figure out, you know, how that goes. But think about it, it's a little mini free game in a VR environment, 
That sort of ties you into the movie. And soon as this one be the movies. Yeah, but pretty soon this will be the movie, right? Yeah, just put it on and just be in the movie. What are you experiencing? Um, Vacation. Blood in the tomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what do you see? I don't even know how to like. There's so much going on. Yeah, no. So you gotta um, look around and try to find that yellow. Yeah, I've hit a couple. Okay, there's one. Here. Yeah, so click the yellow. Yeah. And then it'll move you to where your next step is. I'm going down a rope right now. Yeah. So every every time you look. You gotta look around, find the yellow cue, yeah. click the button when you find the yellow cue, and it takes you to another step. Make yeah. sure not to run into yeah. a rolling boulder. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, that's always the tunes. A giant round boulder that chases you. Got it? Yeah. This is so crazy. Isn't it nuts? Just don't yeah. step forward, you're in front of the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. It'll like take like two steps to your right. Don't want you running into the screen. Oh yeah. Wall again. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. You shoot an arrow. Yeah. What you're hitting? You shoot the arrow to the other side, a column, and then it's gonna wrap the arrow, and then she takes the pickaxe and slides it on the arrow. Yeah. Why